بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most merciful the most compassionate dear viewers assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and before we begin i would like to remind you that we all the time keep thanking almighty allah alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala particularly when we see these three pictures as a reminder for us to thank him for all the blessings and the bounties that we are enjoying and unfortunately a lot of us may not be aware of these bounties let's see this picture and the other picture we have three pictures here let's see the other picture here and the last one as you see and we'll move we'll make transition between the three pictures here but all of them focus on one topic which tells us that the earth which was straight and level all of a time it was opened up and it swallowed whatever was above it in one of the pictures as you see that it swallowed almost half of the track in another picture you can see how deep the hole is and this is is, is known in arabic as called khasf and here i got one comment that a person told me that uh, that this reminds him of the story of qarun uh, and his story is simple as this that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the ability and the power to change metal into gold so uh, not everybody can do that of course otherwise everybody would could have been rich but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this uh, person the power and the ability and the education and the talent that made him be able to change any metal into gold however this person was not thankful to allah did not thank allah for the talent that was given to him rather he attributed this talent to himself he said that i could do it out of my own talent in other words he didn't say that almighty allah gave me this talent that helped me to achieve or to make this great achievement and when you compare his situation with our prophet our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who all the time whenever he could do something or do something that is amazing and incredible and people would ask him how did you do that compare the two answer the first answer uh, is, is the answer of qarun i made it out of my own knowledge the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say it was given to me by almighty allah i was guided by almighty allah to do that in other words he did not attribute this himself and as a result of this type of arrogance that was shown to uh, people at his time qarun was punished by uh, this type of punishment of khasf allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the earth to open up and to swallow him and to swallow his whole house what a lesson that the quran gave us here and nowadays the cameras can take pictures and can take shots that would prove this to us some people did not believe it but now by our own eyes we can see this and these are some examples of the swallowing of the khasf as the quran mentioned it we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for reminding us of this it was done because of the arrogance of this person these things these vivid examples that we see in the pictures may be as a result of this and may be that something made to remind people of things that they are not paying attention to it they are heedless of it as the holy quran says and this came in one comment of one of the brothers 
وإن كثيرا من الناس عن آياتنا لغافلون Indeed there are many people are heedless of our ayat of the things that we do as evidence from Almighty Allah that he is capable of doing anything and at any time. It's a wonderful comment here that says that it's you and me and a lot of people are so busy in their life. They indulge themselves so deeply in life so that they would forget about Allah. They would forget about later life. They would forget about what may happen to them. And they are not ready for that. And this is a third lesson. Are you ready if this happens? Are you ready? Did you finish your prayer? Did you do something good to, uh, before, to others before you die? Did you mention and remember the name of Allah in any time so that you are ready? So whenever something similar to this may happen, so you are ready. Unfortunately, many people are heedless of these things. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in one of the verses and he told all the Muslims about it in the Quran. فَذَرْهُمْ يَخُودُوا وَيَلْعَبُوا حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي يُعَدُونَ Let them live and indulge and play in this life until they meet the day that they had been promised. Whether it's the day of their death or the day of judgment that will happen to each one of us. So the most important lesson here is that are you ready? Are you ready as a cameraman? Are you ready as a teacher? Are you ready as a mother? Are you ready as the director of this program? Are you ready as a viewer for what is going to happen? Are you ready by going, by keeping yourself steadfast on the straight path? And then the other question comes here, which is another lesson. Where will you go? Is there any place that you can go to, you can hide from Almighty Allah. It's everywhere Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can get you. And that's why this is one of the wisdoms of the rational behind earthquakes, swamis, swallowing up. Whatever happens in this world is a soldier of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses it. But the smart person is the one is the one who learns from these pictures, is the one who would say, what if next time this scenario may happen to me? It's not the one who would say, wow, what a picture. No. The smart person would say that from now on, after I have seen this scene, I will change. I will be a better human being. I will be a better Muslim. I fear Allah. And from now on, I will be on the right path. Brothers and sisters, there is no place to escape or to hide yourself except in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As some people said that you run from Allah to meet Allah. There is no other place. So the only resort for you and for me, the only one who can protect us is Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this cannot be done unless we obey him and we love him. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for sending me these nice pictures and I encourage the rest of you to send me a group of pictures so that we can benefit others. Send them to alhada.tv alhada and before I quit you, I greet you with the greeting of peace and I hope that you live a peaceful and comfortable life away from risks. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who listen to the good things and select the best of them and apply them in our life. 
والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ممدوح محمد Oh, <laughs>